Hi, this is part two of learning about the Havamel and today we are on stanza two. First I'm going to show you what it says and then I will give you my interpretation of it and then you'll be free to give yours after. Greetings to the host, the guest has arrived, in which seat shall he sit? Rash is he, who at unknown doors, relies on his good luck. So what I think this is talking about is firstly, having respect. And secondly, um, hospitality. And it specifically mentions the host and the guest. So if we're looking at it from the view of you being the guest is to always be respectful of where you've been invited. I mean, for example, if somebody invites you into their home, their workplace, could be anywhere, but that person has trusted you to invite you there. So always respect the host and don't overstep your mark. Don't act out. Um, I think, you know, first appearances mean a lot. And if you are acting out of line in somebody's personal space, you're not gonna get invited there again. So always be kind and always be respectful. And in the sense of the host, obviously the hospitality part comes in. So when you welcome somebody into your home or workplace, um, they're your guests. So you must always look after them and treat them very, very well. And at the same time, if you give out that level of respect for other people, expect that in return. So if somebody is coming into your home where there's your rules and your boundaries and they cross a line, be ready to sort that out. Don't take any disrespect from anybody because again, this is teaching us that there are going to be certain circumstances where you're going to come across things like this. Um, not everybody is going to be really nice and you need to be prepared to deal with that, mentally deal with that and take charge of the situation. And if somebody is acting disrespectful to you in your home, they don't come in again. And I personally, I'm very particular about who I allow into my home for this reason. So I'm very selective and I have to really trust somebody and know them for them to even come into my home. So again, it's not about being paranoid, but it's always being mentally prepared for these situations and always keep your boundaries in place and let people know they can either respect you or they don't come in. Bye.